That was October one year ago. Joining us from Greenville, South Carolina, Republican Congressman Trey Gowdy, who chaired the House Benghazi Committee, who uncovered the existence of Clinton's personal email account back in March of 2015. Uh, so, sir, we want to get your take on, on the latest developments. There's this letter here from Senate Democratic Minority Leader Harry Reid, uh, who stepped into the fight over FBI Director James Comey's letter. And writing to Comey yesterday, Reid said this, your actions in recent months have demonstrated a disturbing double standard for the treatment of sensitive information with what appears to be a clear intent to aid one one political party over another. I'm writing to inform you that my office has determined that these actions may violate the Hatch Act, which bars FBI officials from using their official authority to influence an election. What's your reaction to that? Uh, just how laughable uh, that is. Uh, you know, it was the it, it was the attorney general who met with the spouse of the target of an investigation on the tarmac, and the president himself prejudged the outcome of the investigation during the pendency of the investigation. And Senator Reid didn't write a letter to either one of them about the Hatch Act. I mean, President Obama is actively campaigning right now for a candidate for president. And that doesn't violate the Hatch Act. So how Jim Comey supplementing his record before Congress violates the Hatch Act is just laughable. Mike? Congressman, uh, let me ask you, there are several elements going on in this campaign, obviously, many of them upsetting to millions and millions of voters. But one of the things that goes unspoken of, in a large extent, is Russian interference in the American political process. Would you care to rank, in terms of priority, Hillary Clinton's emails versus the clearly established Russian interference in our electoral process? Which is more important? I heard the tail end of that question. I didn't hear the first of it. Are you asking me to decide which is more important, the content of the email or foreign interference in our elections? Yes, sir. Well, is it an option that they're both important, or do I have to pick between the two? <laughs> no, you can do whatever you choose to do, obviously. But I mean, which worries I mean, you, I, which concerns you more? Both. I, I mean, I, I don't think I have to pick between the two. No. I, I think foreign interference in our election is terrible, and I think mishandling classified information is terrible, although Comey said she did not, not have a specific intent to violate the law. So, uh, I mean, it, it's like asking me which one of my kids I love the most. I, 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 they're both <laughs> important. They both ought to be looked into, and, and it's not up to me to decide which is more deleterious to our republic. Mm -hmm. So, Mr. Chair Mr. Chairman, let me ask you this question just to, to bring these two questions to uh, in this kind of pair them up, right, or twin them up. If, if, if the FBI were investigating the, the Russian uh, connection to Donald Trump's campaign, for instance, would you think that if, if it's legitimate for Comey to be briefing the Congress about the state of the Clinton investigation, shouldn't he then be briefing Congress about the state of any investigation he's uh, engaged in on the Russian side? Well, I hate relativism. I, I, I really do. Maybe I'm the only one in my line of work that does. I think the same rules ought to apply to everybody, no matter what the calendar says and no matter what your political ideation is. I don't consider what Comey did to be updating Congress on the substance of his investigation. I view it as supplementing his previous testimony. The other thing that I think is, is interesting is, let's assume arguendo that Secretary Clinton this morning said the FBI investigations, uh, investigations over, I have been cleared, it's all in the rearview mirror. If Comey knows that that is not true, if he knew that Friday there, were, there was more information that came to light, uh, he may believe that he has an obligation to correct the public record. But, but that letter was short on substance. It was just a notification letter is how I viewed it, not an update. And, as I talk to Devin Nunes and other members of my uh, of my conference who would be in a position to know the substance of it, they don't know the substance of the email. So I, I don't view it as an update on the investigation. There are those who say, and many, uh, that the timing of this is really questionable, really inappropriate on the part of Comey. What's your reaction to that? Um, that not a single one of the facts at hand is uh, directly attributable to Director Comey. He didn't tell her to set up her own private email server. He did not tell her to mislead the public about uh, whether or not she sent or received classified information. Uh, he did not tell Uma Abedin, uh, hey, don't turn over all your devices. And God knows he didn't tell Anthony Weiner to sext with underage 
girl. So none of that is Jim Comey's fault. Uh, the timing is a, is a direct and natural consequence and probable consequence of decisions Secretary Clinton made years ago. So I, I, yeah. I, 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 wish it, I wish we had known this a year ago. But is that Comey's fault that we did not know she had a private server two years ago? That, no, that's it is not, not the FBI's Mike fault. Barnacle. Congressman, do you know or could you tell us that in the next Congress, which convenes in just a, a few weeks in January, can the American public look forward to more and continuing investigations of the email server and Secretary Clinton and perhaps President elect Clinton at that point? Well, I don't know. I mean, the legislative branch doesn't have the authority to, to investigate crime. Uh, number one, we're bad at it. Number two, we don't have jurisdiction. Uh, there is a role for oversight, and, and I'm sure I'm not a committee chairman. I'm sure those committee chairpersons will make that determination. Whether it's President Trump or President Clinton, the legislative branch ought to provide oversight. Uh, but we're not criminal investigators, and, and that's not, we're not good at it. We don't have jurisdiction, and we can't do anything about it if we find evidence of a crime. So uh, we have to be somewhat uh, circumspect in the way that we do investigations. Congressman Trey Gowdy, thank you very much for being on the show this morning. Yes, ma'am. Thank you all. Thank you. And again, we have invited Democratic officials onto the show, and that is a standing offer. It is 35 past the hour. You still can call in. There is still much more to dig into on this issue. Strategists Elise Jordan and Mike Murphy join our political roundtable when Morning Joe continues. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.